Hey guys, we're going to be taking a quick look at Paranoid Android's latest beta release, codenamed Solid Strawberry. It's beta number 3 for version 4.6, and mainly this version includes a speed up for one of the latest features introduced into Paranoid Android's ROM, which of course is dynamic system bars. There are of course bug fixes and also a slight change to the recents menu, you can find the full change log in the description below. Now if you haven't seen this feature before, it's when the system bars, i.e. the status bar and nav bar, change colour based on the application you're in, similar to how iOS does it. Now the way this works is the system takes the colour of the pixel in the right corner just below the status bar, in this case it's red, and applies that colour to the status bar and it's the same deal with the nav bar as well using the pixel in the right corner just above the nav bar. So when the pixel changes colour as it is now the status bar reacts accordingly and it just gives a more complete look to the app. You don't need to change the colours manually or anything, it does it all automatically for you. In this release it's been polished up, don't forget it is still in the beta phase so it's not perfect but it's much improved over the previous releases, it's a lot quicker to react now and the transitions have also been smoothed out. One of the problems before this release was the status bar icon sometimes didn't change colour and it looked a mess as you can see here. This should now be fixed in the latest release and while I've been using it it hasn't happened so it looks all good. There is still that delay while going in and out of apps but it's been decreased since I last used it on the first release. Taking a quick look at Google Maps here just for a bit of fun we can put that slight green colour in the bottom right corner and you can see the nav bar picks it up pretty quickly. I did notice while going back to the home screen a few times that the nav bar and status bar kind of flicker, in this case back to a whitish colour which looks a little strange but as I said the PA team are actively working on this so I'm pretty confident the issue will be ironed out in a later release along with some more speed improvements. Overall they've done a really good job here already, speeding things up and smoothing them out. In my opinion it's the best implementation of this kind of feature available on Android and it's only going to get better. So yeah, see you guys in the next one. Peace out.